today, everyone, we're going to make teleporters so you can teleport a player from one position to another. So to start off, we're going to go to view and we are going to want to enable the explorer, the properties and the output. That will give us everything we will need. And now we're going to create a part in the workspace. In fact, I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call this teleporter. Now in here, we're going to add in a part and this will be called part underscore one. What we're going to do is scale this to make it look like it's our first teleporter. So I'm going to make it like that. We're going to want to anchor it and I'm going to maybe make it a blue color. Now we're going to under server script service, add in a script and we're going to call this stats for now. Now in here, we're going to need to call a function when a player joins the game. So to do that, game.players.playeradded colon connect function and we want to pass in the player that has joined the game. Now what we want to do is create a brand new ball variant, a boolean inside of the player which will tell us whether they have just teleported or not. This will basically create a debounce, stopping the player from teleporting infinitely. So let's create a local teleport equals instance dot new ball value and we want to put it inside of the player. Next we'll say teleport dot name is going to be equal to has teleported and we're going to set it set the value by default to false. Now what you'll see is if we press play, you'll see when we load in, if we go into players, our name, you'll see we have has teleported here, a boolean. And that's all that does is it creates that ball. Now, let's under our part, add in a script. And we're going to want to call some code, which will be ran if the player touches the part. So to do that, we need to say script.parent.touched, colon connect, function, and then hit. Now the script.parent is the part that will be teleporting. And the hit is the part that hits the object so what we can say next is local player equals game dot players colon get player from character hit dot parent now we need to make sure if there is a player because this the hit it will be like an arm or a leg and the player the actual player will be the hit dot parent now we need to make sure if there is a player so if player then we would just say if player colon find First child has teleported. That's very important you spell this the exact same as it is spelt here. Then player dot has teleported equals false. And then we want to, no, sorry, this should be true. And then we want to actually teleport them. So to teleport, we need to say player. Well, first of all, what we'll do is we'll say local character equals player dot character. That will be the physical character of the player. And then we just need to say character dot humanoid root part dot C frame. Now what would be better is if above this line we said if character colon find first child humanoid root part. Because they may not have one. If they've just died for instance it will not be able to teleport them. And then we will do it. So anyway dot C frame equals and the C frame is kind of like the position. And now we need to set that to the position of the part that we want to teleport to. So let's duplicate this part and we'll drag it over. Let's put it here. And we'll make this one red. And we'll call this part two. Now up here we're going to create a local TP equals script dot parent dot parent, which is the folder, dot part two. Because that's what we want to teleport to. So, and then we're going to set the C frame equal to TP dot C frame. Now we're going to add in a vector. So plus vector free dot new 0, 0 0.5 and 0. That will set us half a stud above the teleporter so we don't get stuck in the ground. You may want to make this value a little bit bigger, but just play around with it and see what works. Now that's pretty much all the code we need here. And then at the end, after straight after all of this here, we will say wait and we'll, we'll wait maybe three seconds before they can teleport again this is the time before next teleport basically it's the teleport cooldown and this is in seconds this time i hear it this number is in seconds and then after we wait three seconds we're going to say player dot has teleported will be equal to false so they can teleport again now, if we hit play, we are going to see a problem. If we hit the... Now, the red one won't teleport us yet because we've got to fix something. Now, if we were to hit this blue thing, we're going to see we're going to get loads of errors. Teleport... Has teleported is not a valid member of players.e circuit336. 
Now, let's, it should be, but we're getting errors anyway. So let's go into our script. And that is because we're just setting it to true and false here. What we need is dot value first, and then it will adjust it. Now, let's actually copy all of this script here. Go in our second part and paste it and rename this from part what two to part one. We are going to see a problem. Let's have a look. If we now touch this, you'll see we get stuck in an infinite loop. Our has teleported has not worked. And that's because we need to add in an if statement. After we've checked if they have the has teleported, we then need to say if player dot has teleported dot value is equal to false, then we want to run all this code. Else we, do, we don't want to do anything because we don't want to teleport them if they've already been teleported. So let's try this again. Let's do it. And we kind of get like a little... Um, we st we've got this three second cooldown, but it teleports us to one, then it teleports us straight to another. So let's have a look at why that is. That is because, of course, we have made this if statement in just one of the scripts and not both. So let's copy that again, go in the first script, paste it in, rename this to part two. And now we should have a smoothly working teleport. So let me delete the output, clear it. Now if we hit red, you see we go on blue, we stand off of it, and we can't teleport for three seconds as that is our cooldown. Of course, you can adjust this cooldown, make it as long as you want. But you can see it works, and that is what's important. So with that in mind, everyone, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching. So if you did enjoy, please leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.